30 a day man will spend at least the next 23 years behind bars for his role in a deadly 2010 home invasion. This afternoon, Billy Jack Johnson became the fourth person to receive a life sentence in connection with the crime. Megan O'Rourke was in court today. She joins us in studio to tell us why this case may not be over. Before today's sentencing was even over, Johnson and his attorney were already talking about an appeal. They're adamant he was simply a man in the wrong place at the wrong time. But a jury, prosecutors, and the judge all disagree. It's been more than four years since 30 year old Patrick Hall was gunned down inside his Jefferson Township home. But for his mother, the pain is still raw. It's remarkable how one bullet, which claimed one physical life, killed the spirit and joy of so many more. For fear of her own safety, Hall's mother asked that we not show her on camera. But in court, she asked the judge to impose the maximum sentence against Billy Jack Johnson, the fourth person to face charges in her son's death. In 2012, Tramel Garrett, Damon Jonigan Jr., and Roderick Montgomery were all convicted and received life sentences. Just in December, a jury found Johnson guilty of complicity to commit murder and aggravated robbery. Still, he maintains his innocence. On the night of December 9, 2010, I did not have any knowledge, plan, or participate in any event that unfolded that night. Billy Jack happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. He was in the, in the van waiting for these guys, thought they were buying drugs, and next thing you know, they're jumping in the van and saying, let's go. He sees a gun at that point, and at that point, he's implicated uh, by the police and convicted. Johnson's attorney says the case hinged on the testimony of a retired Dayton officer. He called the evidence flimsy. Prosecutors see it differently. He even went as far as to tell them what he expected to get in terms of his cut of the proceeds, that being cash and marijuana. So if you ask me, I would say his own words were the strongest evidence against him. I do believe that I did not have a fair trial. If so, I would have been vindicated of all these charges with unrightfully so. Johnson pledged to file an appeal, but not before the judge sentenced him to 23 years to life in prison. Now, there were two other people in the van the night of the murder. I asked prosecutors if they plan to pursue charges against those individuals and was told the investigation is always ongoing. I'm Megan O'Rourke, 2 News, working for you.